What is going on, Crimson City? My name is Crimson Seabed. I'm proud to be bringing you episode number three of our Ultra Sun and Moon Let's Play. If you guys are excited for this episode, be sure to show some love to that like button down below. If we can crush 12 likes on this video, then Pokemon will come out on the Switch next year. <laughs> If you guys are also excited, be sure to show some love to our other playlist we have going on right now, the Pokemon Ultra Sun Mono Fire Shiny. Like, be sure to check out the link in the description of this video for that playlist. You guys can start in episode one, work your way out, go check out another type of content. Question of the day for you guys: Which is your most, which is your most favorite, your favoriteest, your most favorite trial in? sun and moon and do you do you hope it'll make a return in ultra sun and moon that is my question to you guys today you guys already see the team but we'll we'll, we'll show you guys the team really quickly here we'll break it down for you yeah i mean you guys see it on the layout but hey why not a little grub grub the grubbin she knows a vice grip and string shot level six we have seabed our start of the poplio pound water gun growl and disarming voice and we have billy the young goose with tackle and leer in the stakeout ability he is level five so we're over here in Howley City. There is a trainer school I guess I need to go see. There is a trainer school I guess I need to go see. And we shall go do that right now. We are all healed up. We are ready to go. We are rooting and raring to go. And why not? Just why not? Why not? And Lily's already waiting for us, too. <clears throat> here we are. You see, the trainer school is... Lily, is that you? Did you make that noise? What? What in the world? Oh, it's just a Tauros. It's just a bull. It's just a bull. It's just the running of the bulls. Don't mind that. Well, it looks like we won't be going that way anytime soon, thanks to Tauros here. But we were only planning to go as far away as the trainer school. We'll just leave that for someone else to deal with. Come on, follow me. Come, come, come. Come, come, come. <laughs> Gotta deal with that Tauros, man. Old Hala and his Tauros just running around somewhere. So here's the trainer school. So apparently we got some stuff to learn in here. We got to learn the basics of being a Pokemon trainer. Hey there, Crimson. I must have passed you two somehow, yeah? But welcome to the trainer school, the place to learn how to be a Pokemon trainer. Well, thank you. I'm assuming that used to be a basketball court, and then they were like, no, let's have the children battle. And then they were like, oh, okay. <clears throat> Professor Kukui, is this the child you told me about? Yeah, Crimson's a real tough one, too. Put him through the ringer good, Teach. Four trainers. You've got to be four Pokemon trainers here at the School Crimson. The experience will surely help you and your Pokemon grow stronger. Yeah, actually, speaking of experience, why don't you take this? Oh, I forgot we got the experience share this early on in the game. I'll take it. If you keep that experience share on, yeah, all the Pokemon on your team can get experience points from battle. The trainers who will take part in this lesson may be inside or outside the school. You may also want to visit our classrooms. You'll learn things there that will help you on your journey, I'd say. All right, let the lesson begin. She may not look all that tough, but that teach trains her kids right. One of the students is even a captain. If you want a bit of advice from me, here's something that might help. Once you've fought a species of Pokemon once, you can easily see what types of moves will work best on next in your battle. Wandering about in the tall grass to meet lots of different Pokemon will help with that. Battle all the time! Oh yeah! So we have to find four trainers in this area. And what's that? Oh, we got the potion. We got the potion. We got the sauce and we got the potion. Are you a trainer? Hello. If my precious Bonsley takes damage in a Pokemon battle, I want to use a potion on it. Oh, you are one of the trainers. All right, so one out of four down. One out of four. She's ready to play. You see, I I almost said giant ping pong, but then I realized that that's tennis. And I was like, oh, okay. I understand that now. And I definitely don't want Grubbin in here handling, hanging out with a Bonsley. So what I'm going to do is get him the heck out of there. Because Bonsley and Grubbin don't get along. I know Lil Grub Grub's a powerhouse. I know. I know you guys are in the comment section. You guys are yelling at me. Chase, let Lil Grub Grub shine. Chase, let Lil Grub Grub do her thing. See, look. Look. Do you think Do you think Lil Grub Grub could have handled that? Lil Grub Grub would have sympathized with the enemy. We don't need that happening. We don't need that happening. Not in our JoJo. Not in our JoJo, we don't. We can't just go on ahead and water gun it. And then we'll water gun Oh, Flail, that's going to hurt a little bit. That's some um, chip. That's some chip damage. Oh, used a. Oh, she did say if Bonsley gets damaged, she was gonna use a potion. She didn't say that. Well, that's something to note. Give me. Nope. All right, I'll use it another time. I'll use it again. Use another potion. Oh no, you don't. You don't want. You don't. She don't want this dojo. She can't handle the dojo. She can't hang with our dojo. She can't hang with it. She can't hang with the, with our ninjas. 
And little grub grub game, 91 experience. Oh my goodness. Billy Groot. Oh, that's right. The experience share is on. Billy Groot level 6, too. Don't worry. I'll heal any pain that was caused by our defeats. Except the emotional trauma. The emotional trauma your Bonsley is about to experience is going to be revolutionary. Honestly. You can help your Pokemon win by using items at the right time. They can do more than just healing your Pokemon's HP, too. You can even boost their stats and things like that. Interesting. Let's go around the school and see who's all here. We got to find four trainers. We found one. Found one. That's a door I can't go in. That's a locker. Oh, you stinking Meowth. Why do you always love to park it right at the base of the stairs? All right. I guess we're not going that way. <laughs> Look at your Pokemon. Whether it has any claws or not, it'll probably get a kick out of this one. Oh, we got the Quick Claw. In Pokemon battles, the Pokemon with the highest speed set gets to act first, but with a Quick Claw, your Pokemon should be able to attack first regardless of its speed. Or sometimes, anyway, it's better than nothing. Well, you know what? Let's give out. Let's give out that uh, that Quick Claw that we that we just received. Let's give out that Quick Claw that we just received. Give it to... I'm going to give it to Lil Grub Grub. Lil Grub Grub's not too fast. Lil Grub Grub likes to take her time. Some items don't do anything unless you give them to a Pokemon to hold. All right, fair enough, young man. Is there anybody in here? Hello? I know you're battling, training, but uh, who do you think picks up all the Pokeballs you don't you throw when you don't catch any Pokemon? They're biodegradable. Pokemon moves have PP. Um, power points. It's the power point for... I actually didn't know what PP stand for. If the PP for a move runs out, your Pokemon won't be able to use it anymore. Not till you get it restored, I mean. And you can take it to a Pokemon Center for that. I actually didn't know that. Uh, petting my Pokemon makes me happy, too. Are you a trainer? Look at my Metapod. It's got an organ berry. Oh, yep, you are. All right, all right, all right. Gotta crack it out. Gotta crack it out. It's time. It's time. Come here, Mia. You can send out your Metapod all you want to, but we, we have little Grub Grub. We and the little Grub Grub believers... We, we believe. We believe in Lil' Grub Grub. Do you believe in Lil' Grub Grub? Secondary question of the day. Secondary question of the day for those who feel like answering it. Do you believe in Lil' Grub Grub? Hashtag Lil' Grub Grub in the comments down below right now. Right now. Pause the video. Go down there. Hashtag Lil' Grub Grub. If you already commented, comment again. Reply to your comment. Hashtag Lil' Grub Grub. And there's Lil' Grub Grub's quick claw. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. Everybody who typed hashtag Lil' Grub Grub, it's because of you right there. You a real one. So I really feel like we should go into Seabad now. <laughs> I really feel like that's a situation we should do. Maybe? Yeah, your, your, your defense is just going to keep getting skyrocketing. All right. You know what? I, I believe in little Grub Grub, but I also believe in a timely fight. And if your defense is through the roof, then your special defense is not. Because there's only one roof. And you can't go through two roofs. That breaks Crimson Seabad's law of roof physics. Yeah. That, that's what I, that, yeah, yeah, you guys know what I mean. You guys know what I mean. If you don't know what I mean, well, I'm sorry. Ask your mom. Ask your dad. Ask your grandma. Ask your grandpa. They'll know what I mean. If they don't know what I mean, then maybe I'm just talking nonsense. It's quite possible, actually. It's very quite possible. But we beat the Metapod, so depending, it doesn't matter what kind of gibberish I'm talking about. We beat that Metapod, and Seabag grew to level 10. There we go, at a boy, Seabag. A little Grub Grub grew to level 7. There we go. I had a girl, little Grub Grub, learned Mud Slap. Interesting moveset. Metapod, here, have a berry. All right, Mia, I'm sorry. I'm sorry we beat your Metapod up, but you know what? It had to be done. I'll give you some orange berries, too. They're great for your Pokemon to hold. Oh, thank you for the orange berries. How kind of you. Metapod looks so cute munching down an orange berry in the middle of battle. It totally, people totally stop attacking it while it eats the orange berry, too. I can read. Here, watch. Moves have types just like Pokemon. If you use a move that's the same type as your Pokemon, it will get a special boost in power. Stab. Uh, we occasionally ask Professor Kukui to run a special class for our school. He's done a great deal of research into Pokemon moves, after all. Has he now? Has he now? Alright, what do we got out here? So we found two so far. We found two so far. Is there a trainer out here? No, but there is a patch of grass that we can look into. What do you got for me, huh? Okay, Alola Meowth. Okay. I've never seen this. But I love when it find, when you find a new Pokemon. That's such a cool feature. I love that. That is so cool. That is so cool. I actually want to put Alola Meowth on the team. I want to put Alola Meowth on the team. 
We'll do it. We'll do it. Because I think in the, uh, I think in my original Let's Play, I did a, uh, ooh. That's not, that, that's not a feel good. That's not a feel good. I don't like that. Whatever you just did, I don't like. I do not like that. We can go out and see bad. Technician boosted bite or whatever. Not a fan. Not a fan of that. But I do want the Meowth. Oh, that does so much. Oh, that does so much. All right. Let's toss the Pokeball at it. See if we can catch this Meowth. Come on, money. All right. All right. All right. We're just gonna we're just gonna get it ready. Yes, we got it. All right. If you do the motions beforehand, you'll catch your Pokemon beforehand. There was a lot of a lot of people always used to think like holding up B and stuff like that worked. A little Grub Grub grew to level eight. I'll take it. There's a lot of people who used to think like if you hold down like up B or down B or some button combination work. No, no, no. You got to physically make the hand motions right before it happens and it'll happen every time. It'll happen every time. All right, Meowth. All right, Meowth. Let's read your dex entry. You registered a Pokemon in your Pokedex. It's a red letter day and I'm about as red as anything. Uh, the Scratch Cat Pokemon, a royal house that flourished in the distant past, brought it here from another region. Meowth is both selfish and prideful. I'd like to give Meowth a nickname. You know what? You're selfish and prideful. I am going to call you... I'm going to call you Pride. I'm going to call you Pride. Pride will be added to our party. Let's check out Pride. Let's see what Pride's got for us. Let's check here. We have Technician Pride. Okay, Scratch Girl and Bright. Modest. So literally negative attack, positive special attack. So could we have gotten a better one? Yes. Is, am I going to be mad? I mean, if I get Dark Pulse, no. But if I get Dark Pulse, no, I won't be mad. But that, that's a story for a different day. I couldn't get away. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Can I get away now? Can I get away now? No, go heal, I promise. Oh, no! Little Grub Grub! Little Grub Grub! Somebody stop leaving Little Grub Grub. It might have been me. Can I run yet? Now I can run. All right. Let's go run back to the Pokemon Center and heal up, actually. And then we'll continue the search for the other two trainers. Just because Little Grub Grub... That's how I cry. Ah, ah. Ooh, there's an item. Ooh, piece of candy. Oh, that's a potion. Okay. Cool. All right. So, we'll go back to the Pokemon Center and heal up really quickly. I was about to say, if they stop me from healing up, we're about to scrap. You do not stop me from taking care of my Grubbit. You do not. So, we can heal up here, and we'll go back. We got two more trainers. Two more trainers the Pokemon School. Pokemon Academy. The Pokemon Trainer School. We can probably lead off with Billy for a hot second just to get him a little bit more experience. Probably lead off with Billy here. Uh, ch -ch 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 Billy, switch up with a little Grub Grub. There we go. There we go. All right. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we shall return to the trainer school from whence we came. And we shall continue finding those trainers that we need to battle. Hello, sir. You want to know why I'm standing here? Because I'm the strongest. That's why. I won't even bottle a bath unless you can beat everyone else here. So there's one more trainer that we have to find. Correct? Are either of you trainers? Ready and grass, fire, water. Oh, it's like rock, paper, scissors. Uh, which one wins again? Which would win in a matchup between water type and fire type? Water type. Duh. You must be a great trainer. Ready and grass, fire, water. Oh, it's like, yeah, it is like rock, paper, scissors. Which one wins again? Which one to match up between fire and water? Water type, yep. What happens if I get it wrong? Do the kids, like, get mad at me? Oh, you were, you're were you not even going to give me something? Come on. Come on, what are, we, what are we doing here, kids? What are we doing here, kids? That's a classroom we went in. Can I go upstairs yet? You stinking Meowth? Meowth, you want to, nope. You don't want to move. Can't go in that way. Can't go in the lockers. Did I miss somebody? So that one kid doesn't want to move. We beat her. The school has an incinerator. Burning garbage is one day is one way to reduce waste. 
I mean, I suppose so. Like, technically, if you burn something, it no longer, you know, is there, but... Alright, so I think we went everywhere in the school. He won't battle us until we beat everybody else. Oh, there's a boy right there. Okay, so we were going the right way earlier. Okay. Okay. I understand now. Alright, back up, back on, back to the, back. We were off the beaten path, and now we have returned. Now we have returned. <gasps> it's time. It's time. We're getting Zora on the team, too. We're putting a Zora on the team immediately. Oh, my gosh. That did so much. That did so much. I did so much in return as well. I'm going to tackle it again. Because I'm pretty sure... Okay, scratches and stab. There we go. Okay. We got Adam and tackle. Shouldn't take it out. All right. Let's toss a Pokeball to Zora. Let's get the Zora on the team. All right, remember. Ready? One. Two. Three. Oh, no. Huh. Okay. We'll try that again. We'll try that again. All right. All right. All right. We got it. We got it. All right. You get you and I do it on the same time. Ready? Ready? One. Two. Three. Oh, all right. All right, guys. We got it. We got one more chance. We got one more chance to do this. Billy just took one for the team. We got one more chance to pick up the Zora. We don't have one more chance. We have until we run out of Pokeballs. So let's go into Seabat. Maybe he's got to be intimidated by a stronger Pokemon. Maybe that's what has to happen. All right. We're going to toss Pokeball all together on three. Ready? Ready? And toss it out. One. Two. Three. Yes! And we got it. All right. Good job, guys. We did it. We did it. Excellent. Thank you for helping me with that Zora. All right. This is a cool Pokemon. This is cool we can get this this early on. This is so cool. Why don't you check out what kind of Pokemon that is? For sure. The Tricky Fox Pokemon. If a normally talkative child suddenly stops talking, it may have been replaced by a Zora. Oh, God. So, in the Chatty Cathy in your school... Uh, stops talking. That's what happens. Um, I kind of actually really want to, I want to give this thing a nickname because it's got like the red tipped hair and all the dark. I'm going to call this Markiplier. This is Markiplier the Zora. And, oh yes, I have enough characters. I have enough characters. All right, Markiplier has been added to the team. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. All right, let's, uh, let's go... I'm going to actually run back and go heal up one more time. Just so we can heal up. I don't want to waste potions if they're right there. We know where the last trainer is. And then we know where the last guy is before that. So we should be good. We should be good to take this guy on. We should be able to take both these guys on. But just since just since Billy fainted in the battle trying to catch Markiplier. I wanted to I wanted to go out and, and take care of that. I love Zor Markiplier the Zorua. <laughs> I forget how uh, I forget how Zora evolves. I don't think I've ever used a Zorua. I don't think I've ever used a Zora in like a playthrough. Honestly. All right, let's go take on that last trainer. See, that wasn't too long. Pokemon Center's right next door. Come on, somebody. Somebody was like, "Oh, is he really gonna go heal again?" Yeah, I did. It's right next door. Come on now. Come on now. Did it take that long? Look, we're already back. It's been what ten seconds? Come on, Thomas. Let me know if your name is Thomas and you're watching this video right now. All right, let's go run over here. There's an item, though. There's an item. Ooh, another paralyzed heal. Ooh, piece of candy. All right, what else can we find in this grass? We found a Lolan Yoth and we found a Zorua. All right, I think that's all that's in this grass. Pretty sure that's all that's in this grass over here. I wonder if the Magnemite are going to be back. So I remember, I'm pretty sure there was Magnemite over here before. I could be wrong, but I thought there was Magnemite. I thought there was. You're just going to keep growling. Oh, you can keep growling at me all you want. I am an adamant belly. I am an adamant belly with stab tackles, and you can't do nothing about it. And I want Billy to learn another move. Keep growling at me. Keep growling at me. That ain't going to do nothing. You're not going to get a treat from me. You're not going to get to go outside. I'm going to put you in your cage. 
I'm gonna put you down in your bed. I'm gonna give you a toy to chew on. That's about it. You can you can tack you can scratch me all you want because you're about to get tackled by Billy. That's how I'm gonna say it from now on. Billy. All right, cat. We get it. We get it. You know, growl. All right. Good job, Billy. Oh, and Billy grew to level seven. And Billy learned pers. <laughs> Someone's gonna get really upset with me. <laughs> All right, let's go take on this last trainer down here. Hello, boy. Boy, are you a trainer? I say boy. I'll show you my Grimer's best move. With poison gas, it'll poison everyone that comes at us. Well, don't poison Billy now. Why well, didn't even check out Markiplier's stats? I should do that. I should do that. All right, there's your Grimer. There's your, there's your Grimer. There's your chin strap. We'll go on to Billy. And we'll take him on. We'll take him on easy peasy, no problem. Easy peasy, no problem. There we go. Yeah. Yep. I'm not mad, you're mad. I'm not mad, you're mad. It's okay. Billy can 1v1 this Grimer. Even with the poison. Oh wow, that Grimer hits hard. You know what? Let's go, let's go out into Markiplier. Markiplier knows Scratch, Leer, and Pursuit. We'll go out into Markiplier. Just get Markiplier that experience. Goes for Pound, okay. Alright. Mark takes one. We can go for a Scratch. Win, we're faster. There you go. There we go. Let's go for another one. Let's go for another one. All right, low roll, low roll, low roll. All right, cool. We'll use a potion really quickly. We'll heal up Mark. This the back sprite is like ridiculously large. I'm not sure why. I'm really not sure what's going on with that. All right, now, now is your demise at the hands of Markiplier. That's what I thought. Get, out, get him out of here. Get that Grimer out of here. We don't want any. We don't want any. And Markiplier go to level 7. There we go. There we go. Oh, that was a lot of experience. Markiplier almost grew to level 8. Let's go. Seabed grew to level 11. Seabed wants to learn baby doll eyes. Um, I'll keep the old moves. I'll keep the old moves. No, the Grimer I found in the tall grass near the school was defeated. I'm sorry to say. It's rather an unfortunate case circumstance. Grass-type Pokemon are immune to powder moves like Poison Powder and Sleep Powder, but you can still poison them with Poison Gas. Why, thank you, young man. I did not know that. For I am but a novice Pokemon trainer, and I have never played Pokemon before. Alright, there's a lot of Alola Meowth here. I see this now. I see this now. We can run. We can run. We can dance if we want to. We can leave our friends behind. And if you don't run from an Alola Meowth, then you're a friend of mine. Guess what he's about to go do? He's about to go heal up because Pokemon's poison. There's no sense in waiting to send an antidote when, this, when the Pokemon Center's right there. Pokemon Center's literally right here. All right, I'm looking at the clock right now. I'll tell you how long it took us to get back. I'll tell you how long of a detour that was because somebody's going to be like, he healed up twice, three times in an episode. Really? And I'm going to be like, listen here, mister. Listen here, Buster Brown. You better cool your jets. Otherwise, we're going to need to have a little bit of a conversation here. Otherwise, we're about to have a little bit of a conversation right about Meow. Right about Meow. Would you look at that? Less than 30 seconds and we're back. Ho, ho. All right, now we do have to take on this gentleman right here. And I'm not sure what he wants to do to us. He might have... He's got a really smug look. I don't like his eyebrows. He just got his eyebrows done, and frankly, I don't trust him. Yeah. 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 Looks like you beat everybody else, huh? But don't think you'll beat me the same way. Ekans' ability is going to get you. Ekans' ability. What does it get? It gets shed skin. It gets... It gets shed skin. What? What else? Like, intimidate? Are you using an intimidate Ekans? Is that what you're using? Oh, well. Oh, well. Oh, man. I was about to say, I was like, what are you using against me? What are you using against me? 
All right. Oh, that did so much. That did so little. All right, listen here, listen here, Billy. I, I I have love and faith and trust in you, but not when you're intimidated. We'll switch you. We'll switch Billy out for Seabad. We can switch Billy out for Seabad. Yeah, see, bites aren't doing nothing. Bites aren't doing nothing to me. We can go for a water gun though. That'll work. And that'll do a tremendous more amount than than Billy's tackle was doing. A, a very significant more amount, a very a, a significantly increased damage output. Meh, I'm an Atkins. Meh, I'm an Atkins. Bill, Billy grew to level eight though. I'll take it. Markiplier grew to level eight. What's uh, what's Pride doing? Yeah, <laughs> winning even after your attack stat is lowered, an indomitable spirit indeed. Well, did you see how I switched out Pokemon and I had more than just a snake? And you only had a snake? Intimidate is an ability that lowers your opponent's attack stat. If you understand your Pokemon's abilities, you can use the best strategies in battle. F fine, whatever. I can admit when I'm beat. I'll give you a reward even. Take this technical machine. Oh, we got work up. Okay. Wonder who can learn that. Pretty sure, uh, pretty sure Seabad can learn it. Okay, first thing you know about TMs. Technical machines teach new techniques. They'll give your Pokemon a new move in a flash. But if your Pokemon can't learn the move in a TM, then too bad. You are up the creek, pal. Second thing you know about TMs, you can use a TM as many times as you want on as many different Pokemon as you want. They don't wear out or get used up. Pretty nice gift from me, huh? <laughs> get out of here, guy. Oh, that's the school bell. Attention all students. Would Crimson please come to the office on 2F? Crimson to the 2F office, please. What did I do? What terrible thing did you get do? Did you get called to the office so soon? That's what I'm saying. Well, so you did do something. I guess I did. I guess I did, Lils. I don't know what you want to hear from me right now. I don't know what you want to hear from me right now, Lils. I'm trying my best, okay? Trying my absolute best. Crimson, I can't believe that you beat all of my students. Fantastic. After seeing such a performance, I think I'd like to battle you myself. What do you say? Are you ready to take me on? All right, Teach. Oh, I hit B. How much battling experience you gained from battling me? She said, am I joking? No, 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 no. You come here. You come here right now. I accidentally hit B. You don't talk back down to me. Are you ready to take me on? Yes. Yes, I am. I will put you down. Good, I heard about you from Professor Kukui. I'll be challenging you with a Pokemon that has a type advantage against that Poplio you chose for a partner. All right, all right, listen. You use your Simi Sage. You use your, 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 your whatever, Emily. Your Pikachu. Your Rowlet. Oh, you have a Rowlet, really. You found, where did you find that, huh? Huh? Just coincidence? Just coincidence, huh? And it's level 10. You expect me to believe that this is purely coincidental? Mm-hmm. Billy! All right. All my Pokemon are getting... That was a crit. Wow, Billy. Billy! Gotta work on that, bud. I'm gonna go on to Pride. Pride has Technician Boosted Stab Bite. So that should do quite a bit. And Pride hasn't seen any battle yet. Even though it's a modest Pride. It's funny that Pride is modest. Um, That actually did a lot. And frankly, I'm offended. So I'm gonna go on to Little Grub Grub. Are you still believing in Lil Grub Grub at this point in the episode? Have you lost faith in Lil Grub Grub? Have you? I hope you haven't. I hope you haven't, because Lil Grub Grub is about to show you what's up. With the vice grip! Oh, now you start going for tackle. This is a strong Rowlet. Oh my god. It's a very strong Rowlet. And we speed tie with it too. Fun, fun, fun to note. Fun thing to note. I think Lil Grub Grub is gonna have to be the savior here. Yeah, I I. I guess level 8. This is a slow Rowlet, too. It's like Brave or something. All right. Let's use a potion. Let's use a potion. And little Grub Grub's just going to take him to town. Take him to the head. Take him to the home. Take him to the house. Take him home. Escort him home. Be his chaperone, little Grub Grub. You got this. You got this. No, I don't want to use another potion. I want to fight. I want to fight. I want little Grub Grub to put little boxing hands on. Look, there's the Quick Claw going first. I knew that Quick Claw would come in handy. I knew that Quick Claw would come in handy. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Let me go for another one too. And this is, this should be the this should be the final blow. Little Grub Grub. Oh no, actually it wasn't. All right. 
I'm not gonna risk it. There's there, I, there's no sense in taking a biscuit and risking it. I'm just gonna use a potion really quickly, and I'll heal up. A leafage probably wouldn't have knocked me out either. Oh yeah, what if it did exactly six? I had exactly six. It was fate. I had to use that potion. I had to. Don't you see? Don't you see? All right. Little grub grub gained 153. That's a lot of experience. Little grub grub grew to level nine. Pride gained. Uh, Pride grew to level eight. Billy, Billy grew to 153. Markiplier grew to level 9. Markiplier learned fake tears. <laughs> Sensational. Give me all your money, Teach. Don't ever, don't ever disrespect me in front of my friends or my family ever again. Nice. Maybe you'd like to take over as teacher here for me. I'll joke aside, though. I do want you to take these for me. It's a little reward for beating me. And we got the great balls. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. I will take all of that. The great balls. Great balls are better at catching Pokemon than normal Pokeballs. Know your Pokemon and know the moves. Those are the basics of being a trainer. How about it? Ha! Huh. Greetings. Captain Alima here. I couldn't help but observe your battles. You looked so very delightful in battle that I had no choice but to summon you here. This is Crimson, who moved here to Alola from the Kanto region. He's got a real sense for how to use moves, and I think he's going to go far as a trainer, yeah. I see. Then welcome, newcomer. I look forward to seeing the brilliance of your moves in my trial. Indeed, we captains are the ones who conduct the trials you will face on your way to challenging the island Kahuna. The, my trial is held in Verdant Cavern, the trial of Captain Alima. You can find Pokemon living everywhere, even in the patches of tall grass in Howley City. Perhaps you'll want to fill out your team a bit more before attempting my trial. I sincerely look forward to your challenge. Bat. Oh yeah, I reported the folks upstairs about that Tauros blocking that road out front again. That guy's Tauros is pretty much a celebrity here on Mele Mele, you know? Well, I guess it's time that we dismiss you from school, Crimson. Attention all students. Crimson has completed his lesson at the trainer school. Why would they broadcast that? Like, there's somebody probably in algebra who's like, Cool, can I learn the lesson, please? <laughs> like, be good to your Pokemon and try to follow through with those status conditions, too. Good luck with your island challenge. Have fun and give your Pokemon any berries you find. Crimson, enjoy your island challenge. Be sure to use the skills you learned here at trainer school. Good luck, future champion. Make sure you use that TM. Make your Pokemon the strongest. Show them what you're made of, Crimson. What's up, Lils? You seem to be in perfect sync with your young goose, aren't you? Um, since we've come this far together, why don't I show you some more of the city? Come on, there's lots to see. Alright, I guess we got more to see of the city. Especially now that Tauros isn't blocking the road anymore, right? Crimson, over here! Okay. Where are we going? You know, I was really impressed seeing how you battle with your Pokemon at the trainer school. It feels like you're really giving it all for your Pokemon's sake. I think that's why you were able to save Nebby that time, Crimson. Oh, I forgot about Tauros! That's my Tauros impression, by the way. I know it's a good one. I'm not actually a Tauros. Like, like, come on. <laughs> if it isn't Lily and Crimson. Sorry for scaring you, friend. I guess it's time to get old Tauros back home. Oh, but I've got an idea. Why not give him a little pat, Crimson? All right, come here, bull. Grab a bull by the horns. Where will you try petting Tauros? Stroke its mane. Hmm, that doesn't seem to impress Tauros very much. Uh, let's pet its face. Let's do that instead. <laughs> you see that? This rascal already loves you. Pokemon become happier when we show them some care. Okay, so you gotta, you gotta, you gotta show your Pokemon some love. You gotta show your Pokemon some love. <laughs> oh, the places you'll go, child. And as you do, you will surely meet more Pokemon and people who will enrich your life. Hey, what's up, pal? The Kahuna sure are something, huh? Able to calm a raging Pokemon without even needing to battle. Now that's something. I mean, I like Tauros plenty and all, but it is pretty scary. I don't want to ride on it. So where are you two off to now? I was think. <clears throat> I was thinking I should show Crimson around Howley City a bit. Nice idea. You're always on top of things, Lily. Crimson just got here to Alola, huh? Then let me tag along, too. I want to go out to get something good to eat. All right. All right, you go out to get something. We'll, we'll all go out to eat. All right, let's all go together. Then what are we waiting for? This way, come on. All right, let's all go get, let's all go get some food. Let's all go get some food with Hal. Oh, Hal. 
I guess we should go catch up with him before he gets too far, Crimson. Howly City is the biggest city in all of Lola. We should catch up with him, but we will catch up with him in the next episode, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you have enjoyed, and if you have, show some love on the like button down below. Of course, make sure you guys answer the question of the day in the comment section down below as well. And don't forget to subscribe if you're new. We also do have the Pokemon Ultra Sun Monofire Shiny Lock going on as well. Check that out in the description of this video. All that being said, I'm going to remind you guys to be great and do great. I'm going to let this outro bang. I'm going to talk to you all soon. Later.